Do you have a set of dates for, let's say, an event that must be done by a certain day depending on when the event takes place? Let's say you're doing a webinar and you must send out an email four weeks before the event. The question is, is there a way to automate that due date? And the answer is yes. Let's jump into this workflow within Monday.com and I'll show you how to do it. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. So for this example, we're actually going to work on a board that was created for a wedding planner. And as you can see here, they have events like a rehearsal, dinner, a reception, and then there's a list of things that they need to organize before the event. So they basically want to say like six weeks before the event, make sure that we have flowers or whatever, five months before the event date, let's make sure that we have flowers, whatever the dates are. So they want, they have an event date, which you could see is this column, a due date, because that's when they need to do the actual task by, but it's related to the event day by a certain offset of days. So in order to build this, you, you need these three columns, a due date column, the actual event date column, and then the offset column. So I'm just going to fill this in. Let's say we'll start with the hall. So let's say you want it to be done 200 days in advance. Okay. And this one you want the design could be 90 days in advance and the flowers could also be 90 days in advance. The reason that I'm doing the negative is because it's advanced of this event date. So once you have all three columns on your board and you've set the offset, you need to set up the automation. You go to the automation center. And if you look for dependencies on the left side, it's actually a little bit easier to find. And the automation is when date changes, adjust another date by the number of days in the number. So I'm going to add this automation and I'm going to say when event date changes, adjust the due date by the number of the days in my offset. I'm going to add this to my board. So essentially, once I set an event date, it is going to push the due date based on that event date. So what I would do is because let's say the rehearsal dinner is all one day, I would just choose a day. Let's just pretend it's today. Okay. And you're going to see what happens is this event details had zero offset because it's kind of just a reminder about the tasks that they need to do. So therefore it's today, but this date that to order or finalize the details of the whole was set to September. Now, obviously I'm going backwards in time, so it wouldn't make sense. You would have to choose a date forward in time, but you can see that these days that are 90 days needed to be done 90 days before today were set to January 8th. So this example can be used for a lot of things. Let's say you're doing a webinar or let's say you want to do a launch of something and you have a specific number of tasks with specific dates based on the event date that you need. In order to do this, you simply need these three columns, set up the automation, and you are good to go. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.